I'm Daphne Liu. I'm a professor of math at Cal CRA, and I love teaching and mentoring students. My parents were refugees of uh, the Chinese Revolution uh, in 1949. Both came from China to Taiwan. My father came with uh, the army. My mother came with her family. So I grew up from in a poor family. However, we were a very happy and loving family. Then we have to create uh, all the games and uh, make our own toys. And we had a good time as kids. I, I like to invite neighborhood kids to be my my students, I taught them various things, you know, because I was probably just the second grade at elementary school. And I invite them to sit down and be my students. Yeah. So my parents thought I, I should be a teacher um, in the future. That math is always the easiest and the most fascinating subject for me. I enjoyed uh, deriving the formula by myself outside of the classroom. Both my parents and my uncle encouraged me uh, pursuing my passion for mathematics. I took a graph theory course taught by Dr. Chen when I was at college, and it's very visual. I found it very, very interesting. I was recruited as a research assistant working with Professor Li. Dr. Chen and Dr. Li are founding fathers of graph theory and combinatorics in Taiwan. And I still do joint work with Dr. Chen. He's my collaborator. I'm very fortunate to have a wonderful mentors. After two years, I went to the US for a PhD. I chose University of South Carolina. I wanted to be financially independent. And I wanted to study with uh, Dr. Jerry Griggs. I had a wonderful time in South Carolina. I met uh, wonderful people there, including my husband, Jonathan, and uh, two host families who treated us like their own kids. So I thought, oh, I want to be a researcher instead of teacher. But after coming to South Carolina, being a TA, I found that my passion is teaching mathematics. When I'm in the classroom, you know, I'm completely like a different person. I really like to uh, um, integrate math into students' daily life because then they will remember that and that makes sense. For math, it's very abstract. So I really have to think about ways to represent it or to make a, a film um, visual. I use pancake, it's like a circle. And I use waffle, waffle is a square. Who I want to describe pyramid. Pyramid is a stack of uh, many, many waffles of different sizes. I call integration as infinite summation. So you sum up those infinite, so many tiny things together, then you get integration. Like adding all those uh, pancakes together. So indeed, my student um, told me they feel very hungry after my classes. I hope that you know, they will think of uh, integration when they eat pancakes. My research is in graph theory. Graph theory is a great uh, sort of introduction to that sort of higher mathematics. Graph coloring has many applications, applications in scheduling, transportation, and many others. Some of these topics are uh, ideal for uh, student research. So some of my students work with me after taking my graph theory class. Working with Professor Liu in her research group, this process of doing mathematics is very rewarding. Outside of Cal CRA, I spend time with my husband, Jonathan, and my two kids, Jessica and Anthony. I have also started taking Chinese calligraphy. So like mathematics, calligraphy is very abstract and beautiful. Taking calligraphy lessons helps me finding more accessible ways to express uh, abstract content in mathematics to my students. I'm very thankful to great colleagues in my department, my college and the university, especially my best friend, Sierra Hoiba. Oh, without her, I could not do anything. I love our students. They have to work multiple jobs while they're pursuing their degrees. Uh, I think uh, that's one of the big takeaways uh, from Dr. Lewis about giving back and trying to um, you know, give opportunities to other students. With uh, some support, uh, they can thrive uh, kind of uh, out of our expectation. And she helped me, you know, pursue, um, you know, my dreams and to, to give that students that chance. The more I teach at Cal State, the more privileged I feel I am, and the more I feel like I want to work hard in order to provide the best to our students.